So hello everybody and welcome to another 25 days of Dax Friday's challenge. This is for day 16. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go down below to the description box and check all the rules for joining us. It's never too late. You can start now. If you're stuck on day 16 or you want to see how I did it, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, day 16. How many products are out of stock? Okay, we're going to do with DAX and without DAX. We start without DAX as always. So how many products? So we go and get our product ID or product name. I know that product ID and name are distinct, so I can pick either one. And then I have a measure that is stocked units. You will have that too. It's just the sum of units in stock. Then I would go here to the stock units is zero, apply, and then it will be do, 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 five products that are out of stock, right? Okay, so we need to get five in our measure. How do we do that? Now, you know by now, I've been following hopefully the challenge for, for a few days already, so day 16. If you just do stock equals zero, in a normal calculate, you're not going to get a grand total. So we want to avoid that. And to avoid that, we are going to create a virtual table and do the count in there. So we are going to go here first to the tables and I'll show you the virtual table first, which is going to be summarized. And then we're going to summarize products where product ID, we want to have a column with product ID and then we want to have a column with stock, which is basically going to be the sum of the stock units in stock, okay? And that is going to create a table with product ID and the stock of each product. And now we're going to grab this table and we're going to count the rows where the stock is equal to zero. So we go back here, we go to our day 16, and then we do count rows, but we're going to filter the table that we just created where the stock is zero. Again, you can do this with calculate, but it will not give you a grand total, and then you will have to create another measure for the grand total. That's perfectly fine. It's just that this is a little bit more straightforward approach, that's all. So, five, okay? So we're getting the hang of it, right? We're just getting easier, we're getting patterns and we're going getting a structure of how to solve DAX uh, questions, haven't we? And by doing this day by day, we still have a ton more days to go. So really excited. How is it going for you? How many rights do you have? What DAX did you use? Please let us know in the comments below and uh, I'll see you tomorrow again.